So as BuzzFeed are on my bucket list for 2018, I see no harm in addressing them this early on, unless they do something incredibly stupid across this year. I have no intention of covering them again, so let's dive right in. 37 things white people need to stop ruining in 2018. First of all, America. 70% of your population are white. I mean, if, if they're ruining it, I assume it's with what? Gentrification? Because that's so bad. One, macaroni and cheese. It accompanies a video of some female chef embellishing on the recipe. Seems like a bit of a nitpick since macaroni cheese, I believe, was created by a white guy in Thomas Jefferson, unless I'm mistaken. I mean, that's what I was led to believe. I could be wrong. I mean, technically, then, it's a white person thing, so why is it your business, black lady? Two, protests. Accompanying that with another one of those delightful videos, this time that amazing Pepsi advert. I assume this is in reference to white people's place within Black Lives Matter protests, because it can't be all protests. Unfortunately, with your single statement and a vague little connection to Black Lives Matter, which is a terrible one, I'm not getting much from this, so I can't get enough context to know what you truly mean. If you mean all protests, then you might might want to pick a different video to accompany your point. 3. K-pop. I think all people should stop listening to K-pop. Oh god, you have so many thumbs no, I'm kidding. I know a lot of people that like K-pop. Quite frankly, couldn't care less what people think of people's personal tastes in music, and their race of the person who listens to it is utterly irrelevant. <laughs> Sneaker culture. Well, we can't all afford J's. Some of us just have to make do with Reebok Zigtex. Am I... am I woke? Am I fly... yet? <laughs> 5. Makeup. And to accompany it is a beautiful half-black face. Yes. Although I'm more interested in touching those people's hair, or half their hair. <laughs> 6. Trees. Earlier I mentioned gentrification, and look at that. How you gentrify trees? That's where birds live. I love it. I love the idea that not only have you gentrified the neighbourhood, but you've also taken the opportunity to make sure the trees are aesthetically pleasing as well. Maybe you put some makeup on them? What kind of makeup do you put on trees? TNT, perhaps? 7. And the United States of America. The image that accompanies it. 70% of voters were white, and the majority voted for Trump. Interesting to note, the turnout, though, was quite low. So I don't think it so much sets a trend or shows any kind of trend. All you're doing there is showing, what, that white people voted or... 50%, I think it was 50, 52% on the turnout, 70% of those voted for Trump, even though Clinton won the vote anyway, but he got the Electoral College. 8. The Oscars. Of which companies it, a rather large mistake happened at the Oscars and the wrong film won some crappy award. How are they ruining the Oscars when a mistake was made? It's very rare those mistakes happen. Most of the complaints I hear about the Oscars were from like two years ago when they were talking about how many people were of a different race being nominated and saying, oh, it's all about racism in Hollywood. Right. 9. The Grammys. Which accompanies a tweet, Mumford over Frank, Daft Punk over Kendrick, Beck over Beyonce, Taylor over Kendrick, Adele over Beyonce. Let's be honest here. That doesn't mean there's some kind of race-related trend. Nice little gif with Beyonce shaking her head. No one cares. Mumford and Sons were huge in 2013. Daft Punk had an amazing album in 2014, or I think it was released in 2013. I don't remember. Beck, don't know who that is. Taylor Swift, considering the monumental success she's had? That doesn't surprise me, but it doesn't mean it's race-related. And Adele, the same. She's released three albums, and the most recent album did phenomenal. This isn't race-related at all. 10. Migos Bad and Bougie. Bougie, 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 what? Accompanying it, a video, I'm going to quickly look at that. A few moments later. A very awkward video of a very awkward person doing very awkward dance moves and, well, speaking, I assume, reciting lyrics of some kind. I is this, again, another white- is this like the white people liking Stormzy thing? I don't even know who Stormzy is. Eleven. Especially whatever that is. I don't even know what that word is. What you're really saying when you call someone and whatever that is. Maybe you've been called it for exclusively shopping at Whole Foods or drinking absurd amounts of rosé. Rosé is quite nice. Shiraz, right? Maybe you've hurled it as an insult at a friend who can't shut up about her new Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. Maybe you've been listening to a rap group Migos chart topper on repeat. Can someone, like, in the comments, write that down how I'm supposed to say it? Because no idea. 12 and Quavo's name. Is it Quavo? Quavo? Because honestly, they're... they're <laughs> I, I thought Quaver, and that's a crisp. Ah, oh dear. There's a video I don't care. I just don't care. These are nitpicky little things, and I'm not surprised BuzzFeed would make it. I want to see, though, because I know someone has archived it, and I need to see it. The other one aimed at black people. And if BuzzFeed had the balls for it, Latino 
and maybe the Asian community as well. Is it Latina or Latinx or Hispanic? Right. 13. Kodak Black's Tunnel Vision. I don't know what that is. 14. 21 Savage's Bank Account. I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming it's very inappropriate that a white person recites someone else's lyrics. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Another song, of course. California Love. And again, Tupac. That song is quite well known. I knew that song. Oh, another song. Right. Our national anthem. Hey, look. Unless your national anthem is an incredibly dull funeral march, like God Save the Queen, you have nothing, no leg to stand on. And I've seen some of those very passionate deliveries by your very popular musical artists at, like, the Super Bowl. And you guys really embellish on it. I mean, I've heard Jimi Hendrix play it on a guitar, and that guy, I honestly, I, I lost track of where the national anthem went. And our national dance. I assume your national dance, I don't know. Actually, I've got to find out first. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, right? That That's your national dance? <laughs> Oh, you white people, you make me sick. I actually, you know, I'm I'm starting to see this woman's point. Maybe we should just like get rid of all those white people that do these embarrassing things that they pick up from other people, or or we just put those people who created those trends in prison before those trends catch on. So we have a really dull society with no one doing silly, embarrassing things that could possibly make us feel uncomfortable. 19. The Millie Rock. Right. I get the feeling, if these were black people doing it, <laughs> you'd be like, eh, these are cool, man. These are cool because they're not rhythmically challenged. <laughs> I can see why BuzzFeed kept this one up, because it's, it's quite amusing. It's quite amusing because it's all very small, nitpicky things. It's literally instances of white people doing things that were either created by a black person or produced by a black person, and you taking offence to it. Or you just taking offence, like the cooking thing at the start, even though macaroni cheese was created by Thomas Jeff. Well, I, I think it was. I could be wrong. Oh, another dance. Yay, another dance. Congratulations. 21. I repeat, yeah, oh, 22. Right. 23. The Mask Off Challenge. Was that the one where people, um, like, did the makeup thing, or they did... They did no makeup, and then they hand over the camera, and then they panned away to looking what they believe to be stunning, and me believing them to be looking like a monster. I mean, if you have to put that much effort in to look good, then you're wearing a mask. Or is this the the other one where you take it all off, showing off your beauty? Because that's so empowering to show everyone who you really are underneath. And if you really do have that much on, I've seen BBC Three programs of this where they got these girls and some guys who wore a lot of makeup, and then they gave them a do-over, a makeover, sorry, and. They'd, they'd use these wipes to get all the makeup off. And some had eyebrows drawn on and they'd rub it all off. And the wipes would just be multicolored. 24, any challenge, really. Right. 25, car freestyles. Are, are they black people property? Or are they just cringy to you? 26, so basically, hip-hop. What's wrong with... What's wrong with hip-hop? It's not a black person thing. Just saying, I mean, <sighs> there's nothing wrong with hip-hop. If you are the person getting offended about the race of the person who's using that music, then you might want to, like, check yourself a bit. There's nothing wrong, like, for example, okay, Eminem, when he first started, was very popular. And it wasn't just because he was white, but I will admit, that played a part. It was so unusual. But hip-hop isn't exactly exclusive to the black community. And if you're devolving people into race, then you're the person creating the divide. No one else. Just you, Nicki Minaj. Sorry, Tramp. I mean, Nicki... No, it is Nicki Minaj. Isn't it? it is. Yeah, my mistake. Let's continue. 27. Classics like another song, right? 28. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song. But that song is amazing. I've got that on my MP3 player. That song is dope, yo. Like, totes fly. When people got offended at this BuzzFeed, why didn't you take it down? Why did you take the black person one down when it showed criminal statistics that totally debunk a lot of claims made by groups you mention in this one part of it anyway with Black Lives Matter? Huh? Pussy. 29. And hidden figures and fences. Right. Saying nothing there. 30. Black girl magic. What's, what's, what's wrong with... I, I don't understand it. I'm going to have to move on. To me, it's just a t-shirt. It's like the H&M thing with the cheeky little monkey thing on. <laughs> that was beautiful, by the way. Saying things like, Yes, queen, and snatched my wig. To be fair, I don't think white people should say it because white people don't wear anywhere near as many wigs as the black people. And I've watched a lot of world star hip-hop. And honestly, when the guys fight, you know, they're, they're not pulling on each other's hair. They're just knocking each other out. 
But when, and I say this because it's majority black people in these videos, shouting world stars well. But when the girls do, they only pull each other's hair and spin around until one of their weaves comes off. One girl had a weave rip off. She had two tiny tufts at the base of her skull. I, honestly, I don't know if you have a condition, but if you don't, you need to stop. You don't need a wig to look good. All you need to do is put the time in. Even white people have hair issues, by the way. And other racial groups as well have hair issues, I'm sure. <laughs> Yas Queen. Okay, I get the joke now, but I think the hat's adorable. I'd wear it. There's two joints. I, um, to each their own. I mean, I had this argument with Undoomed a long time ago, because I'm not really in favour of legalising it, but I do agree that if you legalise it, that it gets taxed, because that money's really useful. And everyone has their own, like the vape stores, and anyone sells cigarettes, you have a personal preference for how you like it served, or, yeah, I'm afraid that's not really a black person thing either. 33. Chopped Cheese. I was like, what? Fuck is... What on earth is chopped cheese? You mean sliced... Ch I had to check this out. Hang on. Oh, it's a type of sandwich. Okay. I didn't know that. You think I would? If someone can make me one, I would really like it. Misa, it's long overdue. Where's my sandwich, woman? Um, okay. I don't see... Oh, right. Right. Found in bodegas throughout the Bronx and Harlem. So, of course, those are strictly black people foods. Right. Got it. Now I understand everything. 34. Childhoods. <laughs> oh god, that's brilliant. Yes. White people, stop ruining childhood. Think of 10 minorities. <laughs> 35. Identify as Philippine. <laughs> I did a video on this guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this guy said he's trans and also trans race. Lives in Florida, rides around in one of those tuk tucks, listens to Filipino trash and eats Filipino food. I assume nothing, because I think they're a pretty poor country if you're not Manny Pacquiao. 36. Identifying as black. You need to stop. You need to stop now, because what one chooses to identify as is one's business. And if, if people think they are black, then they are black. You have to respect it. We must. I mean, if enough people feel it, if they feel feel it. Enough people feel it. Then it's got to be real, right? If anyone didn't get that, that's a Sean Head joke. 37, finally. God, not real. And googling things white people ruin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my life. <laughs> oh. Google's ad buying tool allowed and suggested racist keywords like blacks ruin everything and Jewish parasite. When we typed white people ruin into Google's ad keyword tool, it suggested terms like blacks destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be a good skeptic clone. I'm supposed to be able to. <laughs> you're supposed to expect some kind of breakdown of each and every point. But there are some that you just you just don't have to because they do it for you. They do it for you. <laughs> Google have their own issues right now, by the way. James Darmore suing them, so Google might actually be racist. You never know. Have a lovely day.